Good evening. I'm Shirley Quattlebaum, your local State Farm agent, and I'm delighted to be here this evening to read a wonderful book, Flat Cat, in honor of my grandnephew, Quint. Quint's real name is Ralph Dewar Gaines V, but he goes by Quint. I happen to like the name, starts with a Q, um, because Quint is fifth in Latin, and he's going to be a reader when he has the chance, but he does love books, and I just know this flat cat is going to be one of his favorites. So it was written by Tara Lazar and illustrated by Pete Oswald. So let's see, let's learn about the flat cat. Flat cat was born flat. He wasn't squashed by an out-of-control ice cream truck. He wasn't smushed in a waffle iron by a sleepy short-order cook. He was just flat, flat as a welcome mat, flat as a splash splat. And wouldn't you know it, Flat Cat liked it just like that. Hmm. Flat Cat slithered under Flat clat, cat drifted over, flat cat blended in. This slick, sly cat could stray and roam anywhere he pleased, keen and unseen. Smooth moves, flat cat. After he slid and slipped around, Flat Cat needed a cat nap. He could snooze in any nook or cranny, here and there, even under the underwear. And that's how Flat Cat went splish splash right in the wash. When Flat Cat tumbled from the driver, he wasn't flat. He was fat and fluffy. The most adorable, puffy, furry, fuzzy wuzzy feline you ever did see. But Flat Cat did not do cute. Flat Cat did not do cuddly. Flat Cat tried to reflatten. It didn't happen. He couldn't slither under or drift over and definitely did not blend in. And wouldn't you know it, Flat Cat did not like it like that. This slick, sly cat couldn't stray and roam too far from home because arms grabbed hugged and squeezed so hard, he wheezed. It was rough and loud. How embarrassing, especially Aunt Harriet. But Flat Cat noticed that with all the squishing and all the squashing, it was happening. Flat Cat was flattening. Soon he would be back to his slick, sly self, but Flat Cat wasn't sure how he felt about that. What was this strange feeling? Flat Cat felt warm and comfy cozy. His heart grew a teeny bit rosy. He slotted up to Aunt Harriet and wiggled and wiggled closer, but oops, she sat on that cat. And just like that, Flat Cat was flat again. Flat Cat slithered under, Flat Cat drifted over, Flat Cat blended in. Blended in, no way. Flat Cat got left out. He didn't feel warm, 
comfy cozy or even the teeniest bit rosy. No more smooshes, zero smooches, not even a single snuggle. Flat cat felt, well, flat. He realized he wasn't keen to be totally unseen. Flat cat did do cute. He did do cuddly. He knew what had to be done. Flat cat liked, just liked it like that. And like that too. Smooth moves, flat. Sleep tight. Good night.